Good day, tubes. How's it going? No, don't tilt your head. I've tilted the camera. You know that. Sorry about that. But anyhow, uh, I don't know, tubes. The next couple of few days, I don't think I'm going to have uh, much video stuff for you and stuff. It's just uh, nothing going on. It's dead. Seriously dead. So, um, I don't know. I'm just not up to anything right now. It's just, um, you know, dead. <laughs> But uh, I did go to Princess Auto again today. I had to pick up one more thing that they didn't have uh, when I was getting all that trailer stuff. And that's the U-bolt the shackle kit for that axle to mount to them springs. So I did, um, I whipped down there today and uh, didn't even take a camera with me or nothing. It's just nothing going on. And it's so flipping hot outside. It was 38 degrees down there without the humidity. So that adds like another 10 so you know 47 48 degrees down in the city there today and it's a little better up here but not much so honestly uh, until the, the weather kind of cheers up a bit and this weather hot weather stuff flips off a bit and goes away i probably not gonna be doing too much you know a bit of mowing and uh, that's about it so um you know and it's just it's just too hot you know there's no point in going out there sweating like crazy just to uh you know change uh water pump in the car or something like that like i can do that when it cools down it's not a big deal right now so but uh anyhow i got to show you the shackle kit i got here from uh, princess auto and i did get the other parts for the car today too the the axle and the uh, uh the water pump and the front caliper and i got a they mix up paint there and put it in a spray can for you. So it's pretty cool. So I'll show you that too. I'll go down to the garage after. Okay, so just a little baby. These are little plates. And let the bolts come through. And there's the little bolts. Hopefully they line up. Um, huh? Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Seriously? Wow. That's a. That's lovely. I think that one's better, but yeah, that one's better, but still, really. Jeez. Oh well, <laughs> we'll fix it. So yeah, you get the bolts and then the uh, the nuts and uh, washers, lock washers and stuff. So what I'm gonna probably do is um, these things rust so so quick. I mean, that's just not painted at all, not treated with nothing, right? So I'm probably just gonna sandblast these up quick too and. Uh, Give them my uh, good primer treatment with that self etching primer and uh, why is it? Hmm. These are just stamped out, I guess. Hey, wham, I'm done. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna prime them and then paint them, I think, because you know, I don't want them going all crappy and rusty and crappy and rusty and you know. But, anyways, uh, let's head down to the garage and we'll have a look at that other stuff. Okay, tubes, I just had to run in the office for a sec there. It's not too bad a temperature in the office. There's no air conditioning in there, but holy frig, it's hot out here. <laughs> like, it would just be painful, I think, to work on, uh, you know, my stuff outside here like this. Like, and, you know, about the only time that's good for doing that is like midnight, and I'm asleep by then. So, I don't know, tubes. We might have to take a, a wee breather for a while kind of thing, you know, until this passes again, but... Let's, uh, let's head in the garage here anyways, and we'll see what it's like in there. Even the heat bugs hear them? Buzzing. They're saying, yep, it's hot. Those are called cicadas. This is a cicada. And every time you give it a gentle squeeze, it buzzes. And, uh, oh, uh, 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 uh. works every time, but, uh, yeah, when it's, uh, when, I think it goes again, hear him, when he starts buzzing, you know it's hot. Oh, it's nicer in here, let's close this down again. Oh, I missed it.
Oh, I'll have to use this one up here. Well, anyways, uh, I'll show you the stuff we got. There's the. Um, oh, hang on, tubes. I gotta flip the thing around so I can see what I'm looking at. There's the black. So they give you a little sample there. There's a the shiny A. Eh? So it's all built in, you know. They, they uh, what do they say here? Uh, Pro Pack V FV16 Custom Filling System. Universal blend for use with enamels, lacquers, vinyls, acrylics, female valve. Whew. Wonder if she's hot. Ha! Huh. But anyways, uh, yeah, so that's for the car. Uh, what else did I get here? Uh, new uh, front brake caliper. Freaking heavy. This thing is wicked heavy. It's so crazy. There's the same... Uh, Clippies and those little washers again, and uh, you know, calipers. So, I think that one on the front is dragging a bit. So, we'll replace that someday. I could bring the car in here, but it wouldn't be a whole lot of room to work on. And actually, it's starting to pick up a bit of heat in here. So, we'll just say no to that today. And uh, this should be the water pump, I do believe. There's the bill. I don't want to look at that. I hope this is the right one. It just doesn't seem to look right. I guess it is. That's the, that's the gasket for it. So, I mean, I've seen a lot of gaskets on online and stuff, and it had like these big rubber things and stuff in them too. So, um, well, I'll get this pictured in your mind real good too. So this should be the outside, and we got to change the pulley, I guess, from ours to now. Which way would be up? I don't know. Something like that, or. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six bolts that bolt it to the engine. It's a pretty uh, precise unit here, really. It's kind of neat. And I'll probably put some of my gasket goop on her, too. So, and there's how she works, I guess. You know, sucks it in there and then pumps it out there or something. So, so six bolts. So, remember that. I'm back in here for now. It's going to drop there. And instructions I guess to read those after and we got the drive shaft here too so let's have a boo at it I know some of you is just saying I'll just put a new boot on the old one well I don't have a uh, clamping tool for it right you know for these uh, for to clamp it back on I don't have that so kind of specialty sort of stuff so that's her you know new nut and everything it's a the crush nut, eh? So once it gets going, it tightens itself on. And uh, it's this boot here that's all cracked and it's gone really weird. Well, we'll have a look at that when we get it off. So, but yeah, you'd have to um, one, two, three, four of those clamps. I don't have that tool, so or the clamps. Maybe that comes with the boots. I don't know. But yeah. So I mean, for all it's worth, do you want to see something scary? So have a look at this CV shaft remanufactured, ordered one, shipped one. That's the list price, 132. I got it for 4906 minus a core. So, uh, so I paid 8401 for it, but I'll take it back and I get that uh, core back off it, right? So he would have just taken that off and not worry about the core, except I said to him, Oh, I don't think I'm going to be doing that today. So he's like, Well, okay, well, we'll put the core back on for you. So that was the total bill. You know, so there'll be uh, core off that, uh, whatchamacallit, too. The uh, caliper is another 40 bucks. So, you know. We got a bit of dough coming back to us, so that's pretty awesome. And the water pump, wow! Look at the price normally of that, eh? Three hundred and seventeen bucks for that, and I got it for one hundred eight. No cores on them, so holy crap, eh? Yeah, it was cooler in uh, the garage here earlier today, but it's uh, whew, setting in now. Oh, and above the roof here, like up above the rafters. Oh, it's way hotter in here. <laughs> oh boy. Above the above the rafters here, it's wicked hot up there. Because uh, this garage is just a garage; it's not really too super well ventilated kind of thing. So, but uh, I don't know, tubes. We might just uh, we might just take a couple of days off. Maybe I'll upload you some rewind videos, I call them, eh, of some of the uh, stuff from a way back. You know, like a winter one or something. That was awesome, eh? So we'll upload you. Uh, a winter video. Holy friggin' keep her focused. Whew. What do you think you are? A Kodak camera or something? Holy. But anyways, uh whoa, shut her down here again. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ha! 
Ah! Ah! Well, anyways, uh, you know, tubes, that's it. So, uh, yeah, until we get to a little bit more nicer weather for working out here, I think we're gonna shut her down. You know, uh, oh, bees nests. Look at this up here. Oh, look at that up there. Oh, mama. Holy. Little stupid things. They seem to like to roost under there. And, uh, not too bad under here this year. I don't seem to see anything under these ones, but they like the, the lid of the propane tank here. The one from my garage. There's actually, yeah, there's one on it right now trying to, all three of them there. Oh, they're kind of weird looking, eh? Let's get a zoom in on them tubes. Let's get in here and don't tick them off too much. Get a zoom in here and see how we can see here. Well, it's about as best as I can do. It goes blurry after that, so. They look kind of baked too in the heat, don't they? Holy. Oh well. They're not hurting too, too much there as long as they don't get a too huge of a colony going. But uh, yeah, and then what's going on down here? I see a couple flying around. You're seriously not going up up underneath there, are you buddy? That's like a wasp or a hornet? No, that's not a hornet. That's a... He is going up under there. You scum. Oh man. And putting thingies up there. I don't like that too much. Oh, tubes. It's just dripping off of me. Really? Oh, hey. But uh, yeah, these uh, monuments, if you've seen these in a couple of the videos, uh, I think I mentioned it before. These are the ones that we had repaired that were really old. This one was, of course, broken. You see the line where they fixed it. And then this one here was, was all broken down through there. And they've uh, fixed or re it and stuff. So. They could have put them back in, but I, I got to do a bunch of digging back there and get the hole leveled out, and you know, it's even got like buddy's name that did it, J. Ramsey, Orangeville. Wow, that's old, eh? From uh, I, I guess probably 1878. It looks like there on that one. So, wow, we that's pretty old. Oh man, something bit me on the back. I don't know, 1872. This guy here probably would have been the first one. So. And this one's not quite as old, but uh, it's got a few years too, though. So yeah, I'm just going to go uh, hide in the basement where it's, you know, somewhat tolerable. But, uh, yeah, so a couple of more days, tubes, until the weather breaks. We'll get to doing some crab and freaking deer flies flying around here. Oh, be quiet. Don't be so noisy. Hey, fish. Nothing. Deer flies, man. I'm getting out of here. What are you guys doing? Holy. What are you doing up there? Getting lots of noise. Anyways, tubes, uh, we're going to head her in the basement and uh, see what's happening in there. Oh man, I forgot to take this down to the garage. Oh well, uh, I guess that's it for today, tubes. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, probably not be doing a whole lot of, you know, new ish stuff. We'll maybe. Uh, Upload a couple of the older ones again, you know, and uh, I know, I know, I don't want to see that, we want to see new stuff, but you know, some of the older stuff is good too. Oh man, what the heck's going on with my butt today? How wooed! But anyhow, yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to upload, you know, for the uh, rewind stuff, but we'll find something from way back, you know, kind of thing, and uh, hmm, figure something out, anyways. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's all I can really have to tell you today. There's not, not just nothing going on. It's wicked hot, and there's no burials. There's, you know, a bit of grass to cut and stuff. But uh, I kind of like to do that in uh, the morning and stuff, you know, before it gets wicked hot at, uh, you know, lunchtime and 2 o'clock and crap. So I usually go hide in the house kind of thing in the basement where it's, you know, pretty cool down here. It's nice. It's not air conditioned or nothing, but, you know, it's maybe 15... 18 degrees or something, which is more tolerable than outside, I'll freaking tell you that, but I get a fan going on there and the computer and stuff and do some Minecrafting or something or, you know, nothing major pressing, pressing, pressing to do outside, so, I mean, if there was, like, a funeral burial or something, well, I'd have to freaking do it, you know, but, you know, why really be out there if you really don't have to be, you know, so, you know, 
yes my job is mostly working outside but uh, I'm all caught up on my stuff so it's not like you know I'm pressured to do that right now I can wait until it cools off a bit so and some of it I do at night too you know like I was out last night at about 10 10 30 or something like that mowing the big field I got half of that done I'm like oh this is ridiculous <laughs> I'm getting tired too and falling asleep and you know so and it was dark I had the lights on and everything and ah you just can't see quite as well either right when it's that dark out so but uh yeah, I mean, don't know what else to tell you, but uh, watch some of these rewind vids, and uh, you know there were some good ones in the past, and you know we might uh, upload another one where we blew something up, or I don't know, I have to go looking through them all, kind of thing, and uh, pick some of the some of the more gooder ones out and uh, fire those up to you again. So I know you already watched them and stuff, but you know that's better than nothing, I guess. But uh, we'll find something. We'll find something. So, anyways, tubes. Uh, yeah enough babbling and stuff so we'll talk at you later and uh have a freaking good day keep cool man keep cool